H1Z1 Battle Royale was released January the 15th, 2015, over four years ago. The quirky, buggy, laggy, just insane battle royale that first put battle royales onto the scene of gaming was released. Almost every big streamer that you know to this day started on H1Z1 or at least played H1Z1 back in its time of it releasing or during its prime. The game was fun, it was entertaining, and people loved it. Everybody played it, they enjoyed the shit out of it, and there was no game exactly like it out there at the time. Nowadays, game companies are slapping battle royale into every single game out there. But long before there was PUBG, Fortnite, or Apex Legends, H1Z1 revolutionized the market for battle royales. These days, it would probably shock you at how many people don't even realize that H1Z1 was a game, let alone have played it. Daybreak as a company had everything they could possibly want going for them. They had a game that had never been out like it before. They had every major influencer, content creator, and streamer playing their game and advertising it to a lot of people. And it was the hot game of 2015 and 2016. Little did people know that that would quickly change change. The battle royale that they were having all kinds of fun with would be handled extremely poorly by Daybreak Games and eventually would be run nearly into the ground by their developers. Now people love to say PUBG killed H1 because PUBG came out about the time that their game started going downhill. People also love to say that other battle royales such as Fortnite and stuff, you know, them coming out as well, put it into the grave. But I'm here to tell you today that that is not the case. And I'm going to talk a little bit about what they did to their game to run it into the ground and what this update on the 6th of March will be doing for the game. H1Z1 was the perfect game for a lot of people. It was casual enough that you could have a lot of fun on it and not take it serious whatsoever but at the same time it was also really competitive and a lot of people like to sweat it out in scrims and in hosted games. It was entertaining, it was easy to pick up and learn, and for a new player they could pretty much figure it out in a short amount of time. The guns were pretty simple to use with very easy to learn recoil. The movement and animations felt very fluent and fast, but it was ran by a terrible company called Daybreak Games. They had everything going for them, the game was growing at a very solid pace, all the streamers were enjoying it, and the only thing that they needed to do was fix the bugs with the game. That's all they needed to do. They did not need to do anything except fix a few bugs. Instead, they decided to completely ignore the community itself and overhaul the entire game in the, a panic of PUBG coming out. Anybody that has played H1 or knows anything about it, H1 knows what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the combat update. Now, if you haven't played H1 and you don't know about our good friend, the combat update, I use good friend very sarcastically, by the way, the combat update completely ruined H1Z1 King of the Kill. They changed the movement. They changed the animations. They changed the colors of the map. They changed the shadows. They changed the guns. They changed the recoil. They changed the body styles of the characters. You name it, they changed it. They changed the cop cars to where when they got shot, they would stop working. They would make a terrible, awful, god-awful noise and they would stop driving completely. They would not be able to move after a while before they exploded. They made the movement clunky. They made it to where your animations were clunky. They did everything to make the game complete and utter shit. Ninja actually brought this up not long ago on his stream when he said that he told all the devs that they needed to revert everything in the combat update. They needed to go back. They didn't need to keep pushing this update. And even then, the company itself, when he was talking to the major people up high in the company, they would not listen to him at all about this. They had done to them. They started. They had done to them. They started making noises. They started traveling slower. They couldn't boost. They they did so many stupid things to the car. Just the most annoying. Like. <laughs> Your car's at seventy percent, and it's literally. It's like it's about to freaking break down with one tire left. <clears throat> After that, they changed the recoil, and then it was just, dude, then they just never reverted, dude. As their biggest issues, they never reverted. They just kept going, and they kept going. And I literally, I was into, I was into every one of their DMs. I was talking to, like, I was literally basically talking to, like, the top of the top, the creme de la creme at Daybreak after this, after the shitty update came out. And I was like, revert it, like, immediately. You need to revert back immediately. What are you doing? The car sounds are horrible. The recoil, the reticle, everything's horrible. The helmet color hit marker, which they added, was the same color as the makeshift armor hit marker. So when you would get a makeshift armor, it sounded like a helmet. And the re the color of the reticle looked like a helmet. And the, and the animation was so ridiculous, like you couldn't even tell it, like you couldn't aim because the, the helmet popping off.
Not to mention another thing that hit the player base extremely hard was that China got banned from playing their game. They have skulls, blood, it's a very violent game, and apparently in China their rules designate that they can't have that within games. So they got banned from streaming and playing it in China, one of their biggest supporters and their biggest player base. All these things combined really took a huge toll on H1Z1 at that time. Now throughout my time in the community, on Twitter, on Reddit, on everything, talking to different devs, all that stuff, I have basically been told that the guy that was a above everybody that basically ran Daybreak told them to do this complete overhaul in hopes that it would appeal to the people that liked PUBG. You know, PUBG, while a lot of people enjoy it, it's a pretty clunky, slow type of game, and they pretty much tried to turn H1Z1 into PUBG, and it was its own unique game. It was a arcadey, fast-paced battle royale, and nothing like PUBG. According to most of the people who have left or been fired from Daybreak, they have said that they tried to tell the man above them that this was a bad update and that they should not do it. However, if you work at a place and your boss tells you to do something, more than likely you're going to do whatever the boss says to do because he's the one signing the checks and he's the one telling you what to do. However, if you work for a company and your boss man tells you to do something, more than likely you're going to do it. The game peaked at 150,000 players and I've never seen a game go downhill faster than H1Z1 did and it was so sad to see as a longtime player of H1Z1. This is a game that at one point you had to sit in a thousand person queue just to get into a solo duo or fives game and in an instance it went from that to being a literal dead game all from one update. Now there are a lot and I mean a lot of people that give H1 so much shit because of the way that it was or the way that it was handled or what was done with it whatever the case may be and I will say I was one of those people that complained a lot about hackers and bugs and stuff during peak H1 but H1Z1 has a terrible name in people's mouth and a lot of people have never played it simply because of people's word that they have said that it is a bad game or it is a shit game all this stuff but the game has turned around a lot since the time of the combat update a new company called Nant G has taken over the rights to H1Z1 and they have been working on it since around the time of the combat update to get it back to what it should be now if you've never played H1Z1 then these patch notes might not make a lot of sense to you but this is basically reverting everything that I said the combat update ruined with H1Z1 and this is what What's happening on the 6th of March. The biggest thing out of these patch notes is the overhaul and restoration of the movement and animations, the restored vehicle mechanics, the restored map, and the restored combat and gun mechanics. Now why does a four-year-old game matter? Why are we talking about a game that their developers single-handedly killed it almost three years ago? Why does March the 6th matter so much and why is everyone talking about it on social media? While it be negative or positive, there's been a lot of buzz on Twitter and stuff about the update on the 6th between big streamers and content creators because people love h1z1 i have never seen a more diehard fan base for a video game in my entire life this game kicked off a lot of big streamers and big content creators to this day's career by playing h1z1 back in the day and a lot of people will still tell you to this day that h1z1 is arguably the most fun game to ever release and it still holds a place in a lot of people's heart this update on the 6th is going to bring a lot of content creators to come back and try the game for one last time arc Lager, a man who's been working on and developing H1Z1 since the game came out, posted a Twitter encouraging anyone that had had their life changed by H1Z1 to post what it had done for them during their life. And a lot, and I mean a lot, of streamers and content creators have posted that they are excited and ready to try it on the 6th. The player count will probably be higher on March the 6th around the time of the update than it will have been in the last two to three years. Now a lot of other people have been very negative about H1Z1 and they have a very bad taste in their mouth and will never give it a chance whatsoever like shroud did in this clip right here now keep in mind shroud never played peak h1z1 and he only played after the combat update when he got paid to play it that is also when the game was at its worst point ever 30 will put me at 10. will you give h1z1 on, Mar on march 6 to try it's reverting to ps4 with old textures and everything what why no no nobody cares about that shit this is your chance that's like that's a desperation move right there. Now, people like Eric Triceps, who played the game throughout its entire lifespan, know that it could still be a good game, and he said that he will give it a try when it has the update on March the 6th. And I give mad respect to him for that, because a lot of the people that are big in the community, and they're big now, that started on H1, they don't give it the credit that it deserves, and they talk shit about it, even if they don't know what's going on with it. Now, I'm not a delusional fanboy sitting here, you know, jerking off to the patch notes every single day, playing H1 every day, even with it having one to 2,000 players 
players, hoping that it will have players one day. I've had the game uninstalled for months. I haven't played it in a long time, but I do plan on playing it on March the 6th, and a lot of other people plan on playing it as well. Realistically, I would want the game to come back. I have well over 2,000 hours within the game, and it's been a major part of my gaming life, and a lot of other people's lives too. But I'm never a hugely optimistic person when it comes to H1Z1. I lost my optimism a long time ago. Realistically, this update might just, you know, be a huge peak in players, and then they'll never see players again. This is pretty much what a lot of people consider their last hurrah. So the game's free to play on Steam and has been for a long time. If you want to download it, it doesn't take an insane PC by any means to run it. Pretty much anybody can run it on any rig. So if you want to try this game out on March the 6th, I highly encourage that you do. If you've never tried H1Z1, this is probably one of your last chances if, you know, this doesn't go that good. But hopefully it does. You know, hopefully it does go well. Either way, though, if you want to try out H1Z1, I highly encourage it. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to please leave a like. Go sub if you're new. I'd really appreciate it. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace. There's a single dev listening right now that still works for Daybreak Games and hasn't left yet. You guys had it all and you changed it. Uh, I hate you.